Hi everyone, I am Neha Agrawal. I have a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering and a master's degree in material science, which you can notice are non-coding degrees. In this video, we're going to talk about what are some great career options for you if you do not enjoy coding just like me. In the world that we are living in, with all these startups selling skills and courses related to coding, we are sometimes left to wonder whether coding is the only way to grow in your career. I know I used to think like that, but I also knew in my heart that I did not enjoy coding and I might never be able to succeed in it. So does that mean that people who can't code are not successful? Well, that's not true. So let's see what are some great career options for you which do not require coding skills. The first is something we all know about, which are core engineering jobs. So if you come from a core engineering field like me, which could be chemical engineering, mechanical engineering or civil engineering, you can easily take up a core engineering job. Most of them don't require coding. Personally, for me, after my master's, I worked at ExxonMobil in Singapore as a fixed equipment engineer and I did not require any coding skills. Chemical engineers can find jobs in the FMCG, oil and gas and pharma industry. Some famous companies in this domain would be Unilever, Shell, Reliance, Novartis, Pfizer, etc. For mechanical engineers, you can find non-coding jobs in automobile, aerospace, manufacturing sectors and some of the famous companies to work at would be Tata Motors, Ford, Robert Bosch, Boeing, etc. Similarly, for civil engineers, the best sector to work at would be the construction industry and some famous companies in this domain are the Lodha Group, l and Godrej Properties, Oberoi, etc. Similarly, for any core engineering field that you belong to, you will find many good roles in those sectors and plenty of opportunities to constantly grow in your career. The second conventional career option that doesn't require coding is to build your career in research. So after your B.Tech or B.E., you can probably complete your Ph.D. if you are interested in research. While some tech-based research does require coding, a lot of research fields do not, so you can choose your research area accordingly. After completing your Ph.D., you can easily get a job in the R&D departments of various companies. You can also join government or research institutes which conduct research. In this way, you can build your career completely around research. Now, if you're interested in teaching, there is also another direction that you can head to. After completing your postdoc, you can apply for assistant professor positions in the universities. This way, not only will you have a respect in the society, but you will also feel extremely satisfied by helping the students. If the above two don't appeal to you, please don't worry. There are so many career options which are available nowadays. So the next career option is that of an analyst. A lot of companies are specializing in analytics and hire engineers for their data analyst positions. So what these companies do is that they translate unstructured data into structured data and then they derive actionable insights, which are of value to their clients. So this is where you come in. As a data analyst, what you're supposed to do is use tools and softwares to handle large amounts of data clean it, process it, and then present it in a way which can be used for further decision making. With the world getting digitalized and large amounts of data being generated every second, companies are now realizing the value of using this data to derive insights about their business. And this industry is something which is very fast growing and hiring engineers without the requirement of coding skills. Another thing I've noticed is that a lot of engineers are interested in finance. So if that is the case, there are many career options available here as well, like in wealth management or stock market investing firms. First, let's talk about wealth management. So what wealth management firms do is that they prepare financial plans for individuals. So what your role would be is to analyze how are the different assets performing and what are some of the changes that can be made to the person's financial portfolio in order to generate maximum returns. Now let's talk about stock market investment firms. So what these firms do is that they analyze the different sectors and then they choose stocks which are most likely to do well. 
So what you are supposed to do is to analyze the sectors in depth by going through media news, reports, looking at the trends between the different companies and then making investment recommendations for the clients. Engineers are considered to be very good with numbers and they have strong analytical skills. So a lot of these companies hire engineers in these positions. So if this is something that you're passionate about, it's a great career option for you, which does not require coding skills. Now let's talk about our next career option. If you are somebody who's interested in sales and marketing, then you can explore it right out of your engineering degree. One of the ways to do it is through business development roles. A lot of companies hire engineers for business development roles, both in startups and MNCs. Personally, I know Zomato and Swiggy hire a lot of engineers for these positions. So here your responsibility is to have a conversation with the people, understand what are their requirements and then convince them to purchase a product based on their needs. This role is all about human interaction where communication skills and persuasion skills come into play and therefore no coding skills are required. Another great option if you're interested in marketing would be to try your hand at digital marketing or social media marketing. With the world going online, digital marketing is one of the main avenues to reach out to customers. So whether it is MNCs or startups, all of them need people to handle their digital marketing. In fact, if you look at their ad spends, 90% of it is either on Facebook ads or Google ads. So if you want to learn digital marketing, a good place to start would be to go through the tutorials which are offered by Facebook and Google. Learn how to place ads and also analyze them on these platforms. After that, you could also increase your knowledge by learning how to use Google Analytics and search engine optimization. Once you have some basic knowledge, you can try out these skills at your internships. Various internships are available for digital marketing on Internshala. You can also become a freelancer on Upwork, Fiverr or Behance. So guys, this is again a great career option for you if you're interested in marketing and it doesn't require any coding. Another very interesting career option which is being taken up by more and more people nowadays is that of a content creator. Now, the moment you hear the word content creator, you immediately think of people writing blogs or articles. Well, it doesn't have to be limited to that. Content writing is great if you're interested in it, but content creation is a vast field which includes graphic designing, video production, YouTubing, website designing, etc. As we already discussed, with the world becoming digitalized and more and more companies shifting to digital marketing, we are consuming a lot of content. And in fact, after the pandemic, all these channels have seen a lot of growth. So if you have that creative spark within you, this is your chance to showcase your skills to the world and build your career in it. And lastly, the best career option after engineering is to follow your passion. Just because you've spent four years doing your engineering degree, that doesn't mean you have to do anything related to it. Do what your heart desires and you will pave your own career path. Anil Kumble, one of the best wicket takers and spin bowlers in international cricket history, is an engineer by degree. He completed his mechanical engineering from RV College of Engineering, Bangalore. Another beloved example is of Sushant Singh Rajput. A brilliant mind, he was one of the toppers at the AIEEE entrance exams and he enrolled himself to do engineering at Delhi Technological University. But then later on, he dropped out when he found his passion in acting. So guys, do what you love, put your heart and soul to it and you will find success. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. I hope this video gives you some knowledge and perspective that there are a lot of things you can do in your career without requiring coding knowledge. Thank you for watching this video and I wish you all the very best for your career ahead.